All right, thanks for joining today, everyone. So we we'll cover sharing modules in Terraform Enterprise. As part of uh, this snapshot, there is a requirement for a base understanding of Terraform Enterprise and Terraform itself. So we won't be covering that today. So what is a Terraform module? A Terraform module is essentially a way to package up your Terraform code into a reusable um, component. A module is a collection of different Terraform resources that are deployed together and life cycled together. So you can see on the left hand side here, we've got a collection of different Terraform modules. Um, we'll bundle them up together in a module and that will allow us easy reuse of that module and life cycling of all of those resources together. The reason that we might want to use a Terraform module is so we don't need to manage these individual resources any longer, and we can raise the abstraction layer of our code from individual resources up to a higher level. So instead of talking about or working on deploying um, compute and storage and network, we can create a module and say, let's deploy our application or let's deploy our new environment or whatever our scenario and use case is. So by bundling up all these different resources that are life cycled together, we can increase the agility and the speed of the deploying uh, those resources, as well as the speed of, and ease of managing that, that uh, section or that unit of code together. And that's gonna increase our standardization and really empower our developers and make us more efficient in our, in our automation workflow. When should you use a module? So here we've got a, a little snippet, um, you see, of a, a simple module that I, I often use. The module is called the S3 bucket and it's used to deploy a uh, S3 on one of our favorite cloud providers. Now, when we deploy this, what we've done is we've actually abstracted away a number of the other comp uh, number of the other options and arguments that might be optional when deploying an S3 bucket. So if you look at the code for this, there's around about 30, 30 arguments that could be included. But when we consume this module, we don't have to worry about them. They've been instructed away for us. So this allows us to start to talk about a producer and consumer model. So we might have someone who is a practitioner building out some modules for us, building in our best practice, anything we might have around compliance and uh, governance from our organization built into the module. And as a consumer, I don't need to worry about these things. So it's all built into the module and I only need to worry about the little bits at the top that are exposed to me within the module. Moving on from the module in Terraform Enterprise, we have a registry. This is also available in Terraform Cloud. I want to touch on what the registry is. This is a uh, core component that allows us to easily share and locate curated modules um, within Terraform. We've got the public registry available at registry.terraform.io. This is populated, uh, last time I checked, with over 8,000 different modules. And these are published out to be reused by both the open source community and HashiCorp's partner, partner ecosystem. Um, people that are publishing modules to allow us to consume their, uh, their services and their software much easier with best practice built in. As part of Terraform Enterprise, we have the private registry. And this is uh, a way that we can publish modules within Terraform Enterprise or Terraform Cloud and make them available only to people within our organization. So we can build our own modules, meeting our own standards of compliance and whatever our business unit or our organization has in terms of best practice, auditing of guidelines. That might be things like everything needs to be tagged or with certain restrictions around policies and uh, networking or storage requirements. So the private registry allows us to publish those modules and for people to have a single place to go and access these modules, deploy this automation 
and really leverage what is being built already. So we're getting the benefits of auto automation in terms of efficiency and speed. So here's an example workflow, which kind of touches on, on the producer consumer model a little bit as well. On the left-hand side here, we have four teams, the app compute storage and network team. And they've each built a module that they want to share out to the wider organization. On the right-hand side of the diagram, you can see four colored boxes. Each of these boxes represents a module with individual components that are life-cycled and deployed together. Each of these teams will publish these modules to the registry. And the advantage is that they're pushing out their best practice and their recommended way of using these services. And each module has its own version number. And you can see here that the version numbers differ as each module is able to be uh, published out into the registry at its own velocity without impacting any other module. On the right hand side, we actually have our workspaces and this example workspace is called Apex staging. And this workspace has access to the modules in the registry and is able to easily deploy Apex compute and storage in their workspace, leveraging all the best practice and code that's already been written and shared with them. Also got the front end testing workspace, deploying different modules into their workspace for their own use case and application. So everyone is deploying the best practice policy and compliance that's required and published in those modules. Within Terraform Enterprise, we have the concept of an organization. An organization represents the, large, uh, the highest abstraction layer to provide uh, each organization uh, independence from other organizations. So there's no overlap and these are isolated organizations with nothing shared between them. However, within Terraform Enterprise, we do have the option of sharing out our registries across organizations. So as you can see from our previous example, the modules that were built may be uh, beneficial if they're consumed across the organizations, which perhaps represent different business units teams or whatever structure your, your business uses. So we can share out these core modules across both organizations so everyone benefits from the same, same code base. And this is gonna be what I'm gonna to demo to you today. I'm gonna to demonstrate how we can share our modules in the private registry across organizations in Terraform Enterprise. Okay, on this tab, you can see I've just logged in to Terraform Enterprise as the administrator user. As the administrator user, I have access to three different organizations called Empire, Rebellion, and Trade Federation. And what I'm going to work on, work on now is deploying, and pub, sorry, publishing a module into one of these organizations. I'll access the Empire organization. It has one workspace at the moment. I'm going to click on registry up on the top uh, title bar. And I'm going to click on modules. And you can see here that I currently have no modules published in this registry. I'm going to click on publish a module. I'm going to connect to my GitHub account where I've got my code stored. I'm going to scroll down to the Terraform TFE onboarding repository, which is where I've got my module located. And I'm going to publish this module. And this is going to make this module available to everyone within the organization called the Empire. And here we can see I've got my module available in the registry. I have my uh, instructions on how to use the module and what the module does. And also able to cycle through the different tabs and view the different inputs, uh, variables that are required, the outputs, uh, any dependencies that there might be, and any resources that are created. I've also got an option here to change the version that will be accessible to my users within the organization. 
Now, as an administrator user, I'm going to share out my private registry to other organizations. I'm going to click on admin in the top right. On the left hand panel, I'm going to swap to the registry. And then I'm going to share out my registry. So search for an organization's registry to share. I want to share out the empire. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to share this registry globally to all other organizations that are consuming Terraform Enterprise. So I'll enable the radio button and share this registry out. And we can see here, the empire is sharing with all organizations. My owner's email as the administrator and I'm sharing one private module from that registry. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my organization to the Trade Federation. I'm gonna click on registry on the top bar, select modules. And you can see here, I currently have only one module available. And this module you can see has been shared out from a different organization in Terraform Enterprise. It's a private module and it's been shared out by the Empire. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to publish my own module within the Trade Federation. I'm going to click on my GitHub account. And I'm going to select my multi-cloud module. And I'm going to publish out this module to the users of the Trade Federation organization. So as we can see, we've got a similar overview with a different module um, now. Everything's the same. If I click back on the registry and click on modules, I can see that I now have my multi-cloud module available to put users of the organization and it's not currently shared out at all. So it, it's not available to any other organization. However, I'm gonna now share out this module in a slightly different way. Instead of sharing out this module to every organization in Terraform Enterprise, I'm only gonna share it out with one other organization. So I'm gonna click on the user in the top right I'm going to go into my administration settings. On the left hand side, I'm going to select registry. And I'm going to share out, select, select organization. Oop. So I'm going to select which registry I want to share. And in this case, I'm going to share out the Trade Federation. And instead of sharing it to every organization with the radio button, I'm going to only share it out with the rebellion. I'm going to share this registry. So we can see here, now we have Trade Federation listed in this table, sharing with only one other organization, and sharing out one module. If I change my organization up the top, I can select the rebellion. And now I can select the registry, click on modules to view modules available. And you can see here, I currently have two modules available. One which is being shared out from the empire organization to everyone in TFE. And secondly, one from the trade federation, which is only being shared to the rebellion. So go back to the slides. Just closing out in summary, what we covered off today was we covered off that modules allow the reuse of code within Terraform and that that code is a selection of resources that are deployed together and lifecycle together. We covered the registry, both the public registry and the private registry, which provide users a single location to go and search for modules that have been published and are available for use. We covered how modules can increase our agility, reduce our risk and costs, 
through the use of shared code and best practice. We also outlined some occasions which are guidelines when we could be using modules and when we're going to benefit from mod mod module creation the most, such as when modules are going to reduce the complexity, when resources share a similar life cycle, when resources are deployed, deployed together and they have similar compliance or metadata requirements, such as policies or tagging requirements. And lastly, whether when modules rely on information or context which the consumer may not be aware of. And an example we covered of that is the S3 bucket module, which has a total of 30 optional arguments, which are abstracted away from the consumer. So they don't need to worry about them. And in our demonstration, I showed you how we can share our private registries across Terraform enterprise organizations, either sharing across the entire TFE organization or selectively sharing from one organization to one or many other organizations. Thank you.